And now your exclusive Storm Team 3 forecast from KTVO. And a good Tuesday morning, everybody. Troy Moling here from the Storm Team 3 Weather Center. Uh, we are continuing to track those uh, showers and storms as they move through the region. Currently, mainly making their way out of northeast Missouri, so it's time for Iowa to get in on the uh, rainy fun this morning. Looking like the heaviest pockets around Drakesville, Drakesville. Belknap, uh, just a little uh, north of the Bloomfield area. We're going to continue to uh, monitor that over the next uh, hour or so. Looking like it'll uh, be making its way out of here. Uh, before you know it, and we'll see some partly sunny skies by later on this afternoon. Here's future cast, and it's showing the rain as it continues to wind down this morning. We're seeing those clearing skies, so we'll call it partly cloudy by tonight. It's, it's good that we're drying out, too, because look what happens as we head into your Wednesday. More storms developing along an approaching cold front. That'll begin to impact us by early tomorrow afternoon, probably after about 1, 2 o'clock is how it's looking right now. This round of storms could last into Wednesday night and uh, possibly bring us a little bit of severe weather, too. The, uh, this is for Wednesday. The Storm Prediction Center has us under that slight risk. That's just like uh, as was the case yesterday. So no risks today, but slight risk tomorrow, which would include some rain, stronger winds, some hail. Tornado risk, fairly low, but with a slight risk, you don't want to rule it out completely. So we're putting uh, some small chances for a little bit of tornadic activity in there. Around the region this morning, though, we are into the 50s and into the 60s in the uh, nearby area close to home, looking a little something like this. 59 in Macon, Kirksville, 60 degrees in Ottumwa. Still looking like Fairfield is the cool spot at 57 degrees this morning. We'll stay into the uh, low 60s by through about mid-morning, 64 by around 10, 11 o'clock. Lunchtime into the low 70s will top out at 75 degrees today. I think with uh, the sunshine, that'll help to warm us up, especially uh, warming us up more than what we saw for your Monday. So back into the upper 70s on Wednesday, close to that 80 degree mark. And you'll remember yesterday, we really didn't have too much sunshine to help to, uh, uh, make, to make the atmosphere conducive to severe weather. Well, tomorrow that may be the case because we'll see some uh, some sunny to partly sunny skies Wednesday morning so that may help to heat things up to where we could get some stronger storms by later on in the day that's what we're keeping an eye on that's why while we have the slight risk then into the 50s and 60s as we end the week cooling down in a big way look at Saturday lots of sunshine but 59 degrees for the high temperature that's about a dozen degrees below normal mm -hmm. for this time of year even overnight lows getting close to the uh, upper 30s by friday night so uh very chilly for the yes. overnight lows so question is yeah. is uh the cooler temperature is going to continue to trend after saturday well on saturday on sunday we're a few degrees warmer okay. but still low 60s okay. so still below normal but okay the only 50 degree days as far as highs looking like Saturday okay. right now. Perfect. Then yeah. I won't complain too much. Okay. And of course, we'll keep an eye on the storms uh, headed our way. Sure will.